Um, I think that's a fucking compliment. Like, yeah, I'm a SoundCloud rapper. Like, bro, look at my fucking watch. Like, SoundCloud got me this fucking watch. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. That's why I wear shit like this. Not to not to brag and, and be like braggadocious and shit and be like, yeah, fuck you. Like, I got this from fucking SoundCloud money. And why not, you know? I, SoundCloud rappers are better than mainstream rappers anyways. Like, I'd rather listen to... Uh, SoundCloud rappers all day, cause you know who SoundCloud rappers? Me, Suicide Boys, Lil Xan, fucking everybody. Like all the dope rappers are SoundCloud rappers. So the fuck, you know? Puya is my name, my last name. My name is Kevin Puya. Uh, Puya is just Iranian. My father's from Iran. Yeah, my mom's from Cuba. That's my mix. Half Cuban. Half Iranian. I met Fat Nick in middle school, in seventh grade. We just started skating together. Like he was, he was still big at the time, but not as big as he is now. But he was like pretty big, so he wanted to skate to like try to lose weight. We just became best friends since then, and um, just the rest is history, really. Because me and Nick used to do a little show called the Nick and Puya Show, and then Denzel Curry saw it and he liked it, and I was like, Yo, I want to film you. Can I come down and film you? And he was like, yeah. So I drove to Carroll City and filmed it. I just loved their lifestyle and fucking, I loved all of them. They were all really cool and they were all rapping. I was like, yo, I want to rap too. Like, I just loved, I loved rapping. And then I didn't, I wasn't in school at the time. So I was already dropped out. I was like, what do I do? I was like, what do I like? I like filming. And so I did that. And then I was like, I like, I like listening to music, so I was like, let me try rapping. I wasn't bullied or nothing like that. I just had anxiety, point like unexplainable anxiety. To this day, I still, I still do, but I, it's, it's gotten a little better. But at the time, I didn't know what it was. I just like felt like shit all the time, so I just left. I was like, fuck this. I left school, and then I got a job. That was cool. Like it was cool for a while, but then I quit the job. I mean, but it all worked out. Like it was, a, it was kind of like bittersweet blessing because if I didn't have anxiety, maybe I didn't drop out become a rapper. Cause like I had to become a rapper or else I was gonna be broke. Uh, I feel like people pay homage to me. Um, a lot of people may not know that I've been doing this since like 2011 and 12 with Raider Clan and Space Ghost Perp. And um, you know, like my OGs, like Space Ghost Perp, Sir Michael Rocks and Rob Banks and shit like that. I feel like an underground pioneer. Like, and I feel like I'm a, I'm a pioneer, like like Bones and like, like Xavier Wolf and these type of rappers are. Like, I feel like I'm in that era. Fuck it, I'm, my, my little alias was Baby Bone, like as in Bone Thugs. I don't know, I just fucking love Bone Thugs. Crazy Bone's my favorite. And like sometimes I'd, when I, I didn't know what the, he was saying and then I would have to go online and look up the lyrics and just recite it. That's how I learned to rap. Yeah, Get Buck was actually a single. It was like one of the first songs ever and then I'm like, it, the song kind of blew up and that was like my breakthrough song. And this was 2013, like, wow, before people were like, you know, people pop off all day now, like, the internet is crazy now. Back then, the internet wasn't, wasn't that wild. Yeah, I was just a single, and then it, it got a little bit popular, so I put it on a mixtape. That song's actually, like, I, I don't know how long it is, I think it's four minutes with no hook. And, like, right when the song drops, it just, I rap through the whole four minutes. That's all I wanted to do. I just I just heard the beat and I was like, I, I just want to rap. And I was like, I'm going to keep writing until I can't write no more. And then I wrote the whole entire song without stopping. It actually took me two days to record it because I got too tired. Because like I, I recorded the first half and I was like there for hours. And I was like, All right, I got to go home. And then the next day I just punched in. Yeah, I never record in professional studios. I, still to this day, I haven't. My, my new album ha was recorded in my friend's warehouse. All in-house. All my shit's in-house. That shit makes your shit sound whack. Yeah, I never, I never been in a professional studio. I think once or twice, cause like some dude tried to sign me, and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna sign. And I still don't want to sign to this day to to anybody, cause being independent is just, is just better. Five five is my height, and I feel like when I grew up, I was always like that little guy. But I have like a big ass fucking heart and I got like, like when I go on stage, they don't like expect me to fucking go hard. And it's cause I'm small, 5'5". Five five. So that's basically what it is. It basically means like 
yeah, I'm little, but I'm I'm the shit, you know. I am a fan. I'm a huge fan. My girlfriend is a huge, huge fan of Britney Spears, so she got me this shirt, and we did a we went to a, a show for her birthday. I took her to go meet Britney Spears. I really didn't care that much. Like my girl was a huge fan. I got meet and greet tickets. That shit was like two thousand five hundred dollars for each ticket. I I spent like five thousand dollars. It was like my girl's birthday like three years ago. It was cool. She was short. That was my first reaction. I was like, damn, Britney Spears is as tall as me. And then uh, I think I bought this shirt at her show. She's like taxing like 65, bro. She gets money, bro. She's a f she's getting money. Her merch is fucking overpriced as fuck. It's crazy. And I still bought that shit. My favorites are all short. Easy E was short. Easy E's tight. But he died though of AIDS, so. Yeah, that sucks. Lil Uzi Vert, made in Tokyo. Made in Tokyo is shorter than me. I was like, finally, I found someone that's short. Bruno Mars is short? That sucks for bitches, because they probably get mad, huh? Like, they love they love tall guys and shit. That's why I'm letting, I'm letting them know. I'm 5'5". Five five. You don't expect to see some tall, handsome guy when you come on tour. I'm 5'5". Five fucking five. That's why my album's named that. Like, just put it out there, you know? And that way, it's like I'm making fun of myself before people make fun of me. Smart, right? You gotta make fun of yourself before they make fun of you. I learned that from SpongeBob. SpongeBob said that you gotta make fun of yourself so that when they make fun of you, it's like, fuck you, I already made fun of myself. I swear to God, I learned that from SpongeBob fucking SquarePants. The album dropped March 5th. It probably, it'll, it'll be out by the time this video comes out. So get that shit. Wherever, I'm, get that shit, get that shit. Buy it or bootleg it, I don't even care, just listen to it. Yeah, I don't even care. I only sold one album, but even when I sold my first album, I put it out for free. And I told all my fans, if you wanna buy it, buy it. If you don't wanna buy it, I don't, I don't fucking care. I never sold any of my music. They bought it anyways, cause I have a really loyal, they were so loyal, my fans are fucking loyal. And it's, it's worked out that way. Yeah, they like that, they like having options. This album's gonna be, Every, like you can bootleg that shit. It's gonna be on SoundCloud. My shit's on SoundCloud. Like a lot of people don't post their their albums on SoundCloud. I I do. And then I'm going on a tour, a world tour. Okay. Oh, we didn't touch on this. I have never been overseas. Okay. And I want to let my fans know that I apologize that I've never been overseas. The reason I've never been overseas is because I don't like flying. Because of my anxiety, I fucking hate it. But. I'm gonna go this year. I'm gonna go to Europe, Australia, I mean, fucking Japan, you name it. I'm gonna go. Going overseas, I've avoided it for five years. And I'm finally gonna go. Uh -huh.